um, I think the people that are mad at that podcast, it's not that they don't agree with you. It's just that it pisses them off even more if they're not yeah, being sure. heard. <laughs> don't blame the messenger, folks. I, I mean, it's it's a yeah. It, it it is uh, it's what I guess my point in all that is you know if you find yourself so angry at this stuff, understand that your anger is going to somebody who does not even recognize that makes it worse. Is. Yeah, I mean, your me. thing is your thing is like you was like, hey man, relax because they don't even really they don't really understand what you're saying in the first place. I'm like, perch, they're not going to relax. They're going to get even more yeah, upset. Yeah. <laughs> uh, the solution is just drink more. That's the solution. <laughs> Hey everybody, this is Perch, and uh, this is one of those rare cases where to respond, you know, in a coherent way to some of your comments, some of your mails, I actually made a little bulleted list. I, I actually wrote down kind of the different points so I make sure I hit them because I did a video where I think a significant amount of people um, missed missed the point. Uh, they did this and, and I'll take responsibility because I am a self-reflective person. So maybe I didn't make the point correctly. That's fair. See, I'm, I'm admitting this right on the offset, but I also think it's indicative of kind of how the culture war has existed. The dynamic between creators and fans, all this kind of stuff has come together that people really aren't listening to each other anymore. And it's very hard to break out of what people think. Um, I, there's a number of examples out there and they're kind of curious examples. So, you know, for example, there was a community post, a pair of them on another channel, I won't mention who, but somebody posted, you know, some, a community post talking about AI art and the responses were 75% uh, negative. Like, fuck you about that AI art. They were angry at that, uh, at that post and very against the person who ran the channel. And then shortly after, the person put another, you know, community post there pointing out that Heather Antos was upset about AI art. And then suddenly 75% of the responses were AR, AI art is great. What a bitch. And it was the same general thesis, just kind of portrayed both ways. And you got two different reactions. Why? Because her Heather Antos was involved. And for better or worse, she's a lightning rod for some of this kind of stuff. It's just... It, it, there's a lot of knee jerk reactions to a ton of things. So, you know, there's a, there's a long interview, uh, with Sean Murphy coming up and we, we get into this, but I'm going to address parts of it here. So the video was around the creators don't understand why you're angry. And what was clear is a lot of people did not listen to the video or they just read the headline or more likely. And I know this is the case. Some people gave their hot take on that video completely missed the point and instead started to do kind of reaction style stuff to it. And they were trying to drive their own agenda. They didn't actually listen to what was in the, in the video, because if they had it, 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 it was more of just a factual laying out of what is actually happening, not what people had said. The most common reaction video I got to that is, and this is the quote that several people send me in mail perch. When you say the creators don't understand why the fans are angry, they're basically tricking you, meaning tricking me, into carrying water for them so fans won't be upset. Well, if you listen to the video, that's a fairly absurd point for a few reasons. First of all, you, the fans, assuming you're a fan right now, you, you, you have every right to be upset. Nobody gets to tell you if you are upset, how upset you are, what you're upset about. Only you get to decide that. You could be upset about the portrayal of Iceman. You could be upset about the color green. It's really nobody's business but yours. Nobody gets to tell you you don't get to be upset. That's that's you. Kind of by the same token, the creators don't necessarily don't necessarily often purely don't understand why you're upset. Just like you have the right to be upset, the creator also has the right to ignore your anger and basically not care about it. Those are basic human rights. Now, despite those basic rights, you as the fan, if you're upset all the time, every day, just pissed off, it's not healthy for you. It's, it's, it will, it will impact your digestion. It will impact your sleep. It'll impact your relationships. It's not good to be mad all the time. So somebody might tell you, Hey, you shouldn't be mad all the time. Now, 
it's your your right to do whatever you want. But common sense says being mad all the time is a bad idea. Turning to the creators, and this is a point that you guys need to hear. If a creator does not understand why people are upset, and lots of people wrote in saying, I don't see how that's the case. There's been so many videos. Don't they watch the videos? Don't they hear? We've explained it. Yeah, they're not listening. Full stop. They're, they're reading it, and they're either ignoring it, they're not paying attention to it, they're tricking themselves into believing you're some kind of lunatic, um, there's, there's, they're, or they're just basically paying no attention, basically going on about their lives and they're not, they, it's, and none of it is sinking in. That's what's happening. Now you can say, well, that's not, that's not good. They, they should care. And I agree with you. I'm going to say that again. So it really sinks in. I agree with you. It is a virtue to be self-reflective. It is a hum, is a positive human trait to listen to what people are saying, to try and understand what people are thinking. And if you're in the business of selling a product, you need to understand what your customers want. It's pretty, pretty important. Lots of companies have fallen into the trap of not caring what the customer wants. And it's almost always to a fault been negative. Even a very popular product like Coke tried something new with new Coke. It didn't work. They were upset that it didn't work, but they still had to change course. They, they, the company reckoned with the feedback it was getting. But saying that would be a good idea to do is a hell of a lot different than saying somebody has to do it or that they are doing it. The reality is in comics, a lot of these people, the people who mail me say, I do not get, I do not get, and this is very common, I mentioned in the other one, I don't get why Wes is angry. I, d- I don't get why he's angry. Why is he angry? I, I, somebody shows me this video. By the way, this is, this is a direct quote. Somebody shows me this video and there's this guy on the thumbnail and he looks pissed off and it says, Dis- you know, massive DC failure. What is he so mad about? And I say, oh, you know, they're talking about kind of characterization of characters. I said, I, did you watch the video? And, and listen closely to this one. The answer I get back is, no, why would I watch a video with somebody just pissed off? So to a lot of you who wrote in saying I was conned or tricked or these creators actually know exactly why, they are, uh, why, why everybody's pissed. No, they, they don't. They legitimately don't. And it's a combination of not paying attention at all, not watching this stuff, or hearing it kind of tricking themselves into believing none of it matters. Look, if if the audience of people who complained has been consistently, consistently portrayed as racist, homophobes, all this kind of stuff, if, if that has been how that group has been categorized, it gets very easy for people to ignore them or basically discount anything that they're saying. And that is what has happened. Now, I'll make this worse or basically piss off all of you, again, creators and fans alike, by saying the silent majority, meaning the 90% or 95% of people who aren't on Twitter, who aren't on YouTube, who aren't making videos, who maybe they're mad, maybe they're not, we wouldn't know, we don't hear from them. That's actually the group that matters most. Not the people complaining on social media, not the people complaining in videos, I mean, we should still, we should still listen to them. But the reason why you should listen to that group is because you don't know how much of the majority feels the same way because you have no input from them. The only bit of data you're getting is the sales figures and the sales figures are declining. So therefore, if you're in a company, the smart thing to do, the thing I would do would be to aggressively reach out and try and understand what people liked, what they didn't like, why they're upset. I would absolutely do that. That's, that's how I've been trained in my career. That's, that's, that's what I would do. But honestly, all of you, that's not what most people do. Certainly not people who are hired as freelancers who have no long-term stake in the company, many of whom only showed up, I don't know, two, three years ago. They do not have that kind of attachment. They do not have that kind of training. You might argue, why would they? If you're making 32,000 years an editor living in Manhattan, 
do, are you, you're trying to get some next level advanced customer marketing techniques? Fuck no. You're going to be just trying to scramble enough money together to afford your Starbucks. That's that's that again. And this is really important because a lot of people either missed or mischaracterized, especially one jackass who did a reaction video to that video and, and, uh, you know, miscategorized everything I was saying. <laughs> I'm not saying that's good. In fact, I'm, I'm saying very, very specifically, it's bad. It's bad that creators and publishers are not digging into why you're upset. But it's also true that they're not. Kathleen Kennedy, do you, do you think she thinks about what Clownfish TV or Wes thinks about uh, Star Wars? She doesn't give a shit about that. And why would she? She's making, I mean, she's making millions of dollars a year. She's driven to the office. She has a well, you know, a army of assistants who completely you know, abstract her from any thing else that's going on in real life. Who do you think's going into Kathleen Kennedy's office saying, have you seen the, uh, have you seen the new video drop by uh, perch or thinking critical? They turns out they don't really like, uh, the Obi-Wan series. They, they have some uh, issues with how the character has been portrayed. Do you think anyone's doing that? They are not. Does Kathleen Kennedy think or care about what people are saying? She doesn't. Should she? Absolutely. I, in fairness, I, I would I think a, a horrible way to care about what people are saying is to click on YouTube all day or Twitter and try and listen to what people are saying and follow the hashtags about why they're upset. That would be a thoroughly, uh, horribly inefficient way to get customer feedback. But um, yeah, she should be caring about what people are saying. Yes, the comic creator should be caring about what people are saying for sure. No doubt about it. But they're not. And the only thing I, I the, the reason I did that video and the, the point I'm trying to make to you right now is yes, you could still be angry. Yes, you could think these people are idiots. Yes, maybe even this explanation makes it all much worse. But if you want to be successful, if you want to actually move things forward, it's good to understand what you're dealing with. Just like the comic creators, be smart for them to understand the true nature of why people are upset. If you're a fan, you're upset. I'm trying to save you some pain of constantly banging your head against a brick wall and wondering why nothing is changing. This is some new data for you. Process it. Do whatever you want with it. Under no circumstances. So again, some other person got in their stupid fucking head that I was trying to convince them to just, you know, never complain. No, not what I'm saying at all. Complain to your heart's content. Just know who you're playing against. Football teams, European version and US version, they study tape of their opponents. They try and understand. They look into the field conditions of where they're going to play. They look at the weather. They do all these things because they want to be smart about their attack. They want to be smart about the thing they're about to engage in. If you believe that, that as an example, a, a Gail Simone, is sitting behind a computer screen and going, it's part of my master plan to piss everybody off. And I'm going to do it in this exact way. And I saw that, you know, this one channel with, you know, 300 subscribers was upset at how I wrote Jessica Jones in the, uh, you know, the, the variants. And specifically that I, I made this one joke that was kind of a feminist joke. And, and uh, I'm really glad I pissed them off. And uh, so I'm going to, I'm going to monitor the con no, they're, they're, she's not doing any of that. Well, I don't know. Gail Simone's kind of obsessive. Maybe she is, but most are not is my point. They, they truly don't get it. And it is absolutely their problem to fix that. It's not your problem, but you might want to know, take it or leave it. Anyway, thanks for listening.